This is Ken Leone, VP of Marketing at Stock Rover, and in this video I'll show you how you can customize Stock Rover visuals. Now if you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to check out our Visuals Overview video first. The Visuals feature is available for all subscription plans, including free. First, well, what are visuals? Well, they're a combination of charts and tables that display key metrics for a stock or ETF. The concept behind visuals is to deliver to an investor the key metrics they want to see with the structure they want and formatted the way they want to see them. Stock Rover comes with a starter set of some seven out-of-the-box visuals, which are accessible from the Insight panel. Now we've made it very easy and intuitive to create and customize visuals. It's really as simple as clicking on the Visuals button. You'll see two menu items. The first item allows you to edit the currently selected Visual tab, which in this case is History. The second menu item allows us to manipulate the tabs. You'll note Edit and Copy are grayed out for the first three tabs as their format is fixed, though they can be moved or hidden. However, we can edit, copy, move, hide, or delete the remaining tabs, as well as any new tabs that we create. Creating a new visual tab is simple enough. The first thing we'll want to do is name the tab something that's meaningful for us. For example, my go-to tables and charts. We can then populate the tab with any combination of tables and charts. A tag can be populated with up to six vertically stacked tables and charts. Let's take a closer look at creating a table. Note there are three types of tables you can add. History, Peers Comparison, and Market Comparison. The History table shows a list of metrics over time where the columns are the selected metrics and the rows are the time periods. Time periods can be quarters or years and years can be calendar years or rolling 12 month period known as trailing 12 months. The peers comparison table shows a list of selected metrics versus peers where the columns are the metrics and each row is a different peer. The market comparison table compares the stock's averages for a number of metrics versus its industry and versus the S&P 500. Let's add a history table. We'll name it per share. We want to show calendar years Let's add some columns. Let's search for per share. Let's select cash per share, debt per share, equity per share, free cash flow per share, net cash per share, and lastly sales per share. Let's make free cash flow per share the last column in the table. Note we can add more columns as well as delete columns at any time. So now our tab has one table. Let's add a chart. Similar to the table, you add the title you want for the chart and then use the drop down to select the chart type. Depending on the chart type you select, there will be additional controls where you can enter the options appropriate for the chart you selected. There are three chart types. The price chart shows a line chart displaying the price over time and it may include benchmarks, technicals, and events. The price can include or exclude dividends via the option in the settings button. With dividends included, 
the chart is known as a total return chart. You can select the time period. You can add benchmarks, technicals. You can add events such as earnings announcements, splits, and dividends. The chart can display price, price percent, candlesticks, or price logarithmic. The one fundamental chart shows a chart of the price along with any desired benchmarks and one fundamental metric. There are many fundamentals to choose from, such as price to earnings, price to book, price to sales, cash flow, free cash flow, operating margin, long-term debt, and more. Lastly, there is multiple fundamentals. A multiple fundamental chart compares different metrics for a single company. So let's graph multiple fundamentals. First, let's name the chart. Let's call it sales, net income, and price earnings. We're going to go back 10 years. And let's list the fundamentals. So we wanted sales, uh, net income, and price earnings. As you can see, very quick and very easy. Let's click OK. And now we see we have one table and one chart. We'll save it. So here we see our table and our chart. Note by selecting the gear, we can make changes to the table, such as add columns or delete columns, and to the chart, where we can change time period and metrics. Let's edit the visual. Note we can edit, copy, or delete tables and charts. We can drag and drop to change the order. Now we can see that the chart is at the top and the table is at the bottom. Let's go to Manage Visual Tabs. Notice that there's a similar look and feel when we're affecting the tabs which is the same as what we were doing when we were affecting the charts and tables within a tab. We can edit, copy, hide, and delete. We can also drag and drop. Let's hide the visual we just created. Let's go back and unhide it. Using this technique, you can have a whole set of visuals at the ready and either display all of them or a subset of them. Visuals bring an enormous amount of power and flexibility to your investment information display. A really great thing about visuals is the ability to customize your display, save them, and have them at the ready. Customization lets you tailor Stock Rover so that you get the data you want to see with the structure you want and format it the way you want it. Leveraging visuals makes your investment research process far more efficient, productive, and rewarding.